Cognitive coaching at Heritage, it's all based on the notion of freedom. And so that value in the Dharma principles is the one that's truly guiding the cognitive coaching program to support teacher learning. And so as a new person coming in, you will have the opportunity to feel free to be, belong, and become everything that you could hope and aspire to be without losing the rigor of learning in the classroom. So we invite you to take a look, see if this might be a good fit for you, and come explore what it might feel to be free at Heritage. As teachers and educators at the number two school in the country, we're able to really push the envelope and design meaningful experiential projects for our students that connect their learning to the world outside of the classroom. In the international program, we have a small community that we've developed and so that teachers can really know their students well and have supportive relationships with them and can effectively collaborate with the other teachers in the program. We are really excited about the curriculum we're going to be developing together in the coming year to get get ready for next year and to implement that to really make a difference for our students so they become active citizens of the world and connect their learning to both local and global contexts. The most compelling reason I can give you to consider joining the Heritage Experiential Learning International School is that this will be a place that will allow you to teach the way you've always wanted to with children. I'm just coming off of a four-night, five-day uh, field work experience with students in the national capital region around Delhi. Students were challenged to be historians and work with primary resources like forts or museum artifacts and try to reconstruct the history of Delhi. At the same time, all the students were challenged to step out of their comfort zone and live together uh, and work together in this very intensive experience. So in the past few days, I've helped students look at a painting and try to get oriented to figure out which dynasty built a particular ruined fort. And at night, I've sat next to students as they got a little teary and homesick and watched the community of their peers come together to support them in being away from their parents. This is the kind of holistic, whole child education we do here, day after day. And if you'd like to join us, I can promise you'll have the support, the resources, and the freedom to do this uh, type of education with our students. Well, if you're passionate and skilled and probably flexible, we'd love to have you. I think from our side, though, you'll find us surprising. Uh, we have incredible integrity, uh, support, and our own passion. And if you think back about why you wanted to become a teacher in the first place, that connection with students, uh, that feeling of connectedness, uh, making a difference because you really changed uh, learning for an individual student, that's what we care about too. And we give you the freedom to do that, uh, incredible support in terms of training, coaching, uh, systems and structures that allow you to be you, uh, allow you to be self-reflective and that's something that we'd expect from you too. Uh, thinking about what you do, whether or not it worked, uh, how it attached to an individual student is an incredibly important part of what we do. Um, we also believe in students and teachers trying things together, uh, trying for new solutions, so the idea of failing forward is important to us. We let you make those mistakes, um, then reflect on them and improve. Uh, that's an important part of who we are and the heritage spirit and the way the education works here. So one of the advantages here, being a teacher at Heritage, in the junior program specifically, is that you um, have children who are eager to learn. Teachers really get the time to teach because we don't have behavior problems here. Our children are eager to learn, they're actively involved, and they love being here. <laughs>
So that is one big advantage of working here. Another is that teachers have the freedom to be creative. And by being creative, I mean within their lessons, within themselves. A lot of our teachers are very artistic, and so they bring that artistic into their lesson plans. They draw pictures on the boards to illustrate things. They create songs with the children. In many different ways, they get to be creative. And then the last thing is planning time. We all know across the world, it doesn't matter where you teach, that time, planning time, in in the school day is a challenge. Here in the junior program, we have at least an hour and a half every day to plan. So that gives teachers, again, the freedom to be creative in their lesson plans because they have that extra time to plan. So I've been in India now for nearly three years and it's been honestly the greatest adventure of my life a place where the culture is so rich, where there's such diversity, where there's such natural beauty, where the architecture just speaks about the history of the place. It's like nowhere else I've ever been. And one of the great things is heritage understands expats. They understand how to transition them into the country, they understand the supports they need, and they understand the connections that an organization needs to make that transition work well. I've never been any place like Heritage where that transition is so smooth. So they've really got it down to a science here. We view teachers as leaders um, in the school and uh, teachers as leaders inside class. Teachers were able to take control of the situation, of the, of the, of the classroom, their environment, surrounding. Teachers who are self-aware, that's where they are anchored. One is that. The other is we're also looking at distributed leadership. So uh, a teacher who's inside class also does a lot of leadership roles uh, along with that role uh, that she does of teaching and learning. So those various opportunities available across the year, uh, across so many years that of your working in the school also. I myself started off as a, an expedition teacher inside classroom and I saw a lot of opportunity to excel and learn from the various opportunities that were available in the school and then uh, move to a position of for heading a program so uh, uh, and through that journey I worked like a master teacher I've, I've worked with uh, you know a group of teachers where a lot of uh, learning was happening uh, as part of the professional learning community so uh, all these opportunities are greatly available um, to view teachers as leaders I think it's, it's a powerful position uh, to be in and uh, right from day one uh, till all the years that the teacher works in this organization So the brief was very simple, set up a makerspace and ensure every child is catered by a makerspace. Now coming as a fresh graduate of design and tech, that was a huge challenge for me because technology, programming and all that fancy stuff is often taught in isolation. And the club model with which usually makerspace is catered to would not help ensure that every child learns to experiment and prototype through the club model. So the only solution was subject integration. At Heritage, we had to figure out a way where makerspaces is happening in tandem to mainstream subject. That it doesn't happen as a genius hour or wonder hour, where they learn about biology, then they come and learn about something completely different, as such as 3D printing or programming. We started off with lots of hopes and there were a lot of experimentation and failures on the way because it meant teachers, biology teachers, physics teachers, math teachers now tinkering with programming and seeing what that would mean for their subject. A year and a half later, we are now in tandem with mainstream subjects in the whole of the middle program. So what that would look like is, let's say we learned about planets in Expedition. What they do in the makerspace is create workable models of that planet motion with motors or with 3D printing or any tool that they are exposed in the makerspace. Uh, I chose to work here because I'm really valued for the merit that I bring. Um, no matter what your age is here, you're really able to expand your role and be creative and weave in the theories and wisdom from Western practice while also rooting everything that we do in the wisdom that's present in this school environment and this um, cultural context. So I get to learn a lot and I get to uh, 
expand my role and grow within that. Um, also, it's meaningful because the students that we work with are going to be in many ways the decision makers and because they come from such immense privilege, I feel constantly this sense of responsibility to ensure that they grow up feeling that sense of opportunity for how to use their privilege effectively and constructively and especially in this environment and the current global context, ensuring that people who do have the opportunities that these kids do use those opportunities wisely on behalf of the greater societal good uh, is unbelievably fulfilling. Uh, we view teaching as a craft. We view teaching as something which you built mastery over time. Uh, mastery is never achieved, it's always pursued. I think that is an ethos of this place and you, when you find your colleagues also having the same conversation. We have fights, there's always pressure for resources, time. Uh, there is politics the way that is there in every organization. Uh, but I think all these are subsumed over the larger excitement of building one's craft. The entire philosophy is around loose control and tight support. Uh, really not having tracking mechanisms and deadlines that put a lot of pressure on you. Instead, providing a lot of support in a manner as we'd like them to support students. And how we do it is through extensive professional development where we practically try to develop an individualized educational program, an individualized growth program for every teacher so that they feel completely supported, uh, so they experience growth, they experience a sense of meaning and purpose and uh, that's been our driving force and that's where we think we found the maximum success in everything that we do.